quick Suyan boss guide for free point run raid the black jade warrior we're gonna start out with the main tank and the main tank is gonna have Saki C1 for the reset and Shiro C3 for the extra shatter and then whatever they have third doesn't matter as long as it's a tank weapon then you're gonna have two healers um, one is gonna have C5 Fiona for the execute with extra crystal count C3 Coco for the extra shatter on discharge and Icarus for the execute when the boss is at 95% HP you're gonna do 8% uh, of its HP will return to loneliness that is gonna be your first healer your second healer can run whatever healer weapons they want and then you're gonna have four to five tanks which are non main tanks which are not gonna attack the boss they are gonna run C3 Shiro and whatever else they have for tank resonance it's gonna be Meryl, Huma, Ini, Lan if they do have uh, Saki as well they can run C1 Saki to reset the Shiro so you do Shiro skill you do hologram Shiro skill Saki reset Shiro skill and you just melt the boss you only need two people to really shatter but it's better to get a full group of tanks just in case everybody doesn't have a Saki and Shiro C3 but at least if you have Shiro C0 paired up with Huma and Meryl if that's all you have and a hologram it's better than nothing and that's gonna be your entire setup with uh, relics going to be hologram and alter destiny you're gonna alter destiny on one mechanic and you're gonna hologram on the shield and that is gonna be everything for the weapon setup let's get into the boss fight let's get let's get into the first mechanic here it's gonna be the icarus execute we're gonna show it off here and the shield so Karak's gonna go in here and start out with the Icarus Return to Loneliness Execute. As you see here, takes half his HP bar. That's gonna prop his shield. Now we're gonna go in with Hologram and Shiro. And we're gonna pop the shield here. Make sure you fear owner, cage or phantasm so he doesn't dodge out of the Shiro blooms. If he does, you're gonna struggle to break him like we are here. Which is not good, so make sure you use that Fiona cage or you get a Saki Phantasm. When he gets his shield up and always use hologram before you use shiro skill and there is two minutes between every shield so it's gonna time almost perfectly with your hologram once the shield is down you're gonna go back to afk and you are not gonna attack the boss and that's gonna be the first two mechanics of this fight right here let's go on to the next mechanic so let's get on to the next mechanic here you can see the bus has summoned a spear that's gonna be the next mechanic and I'm gonna show the other one as well he gonna throw the spear and you're gonna uh, kill it and that's gonna do damage to the bus then he's gonna spawn a ring it's important you stack as it's raid right shared damage so you're gonna stack on this big ring you can use Alter destiny if you want you can see the little ring around the player the red one you do not want to stand in that because it is not shared damage so kill the spear and stand in a big red circle and now we're gonna have a sh another spear apparently but that's gonna be the next two mechanics remember every skill you get hit by is gonna apply gray bite that's why we stand afk and do not attack the boss as you can see here here he throws another spear we're gonna break the weapon and it's gonna do damage to the boss and we're gonna have another shield here and we're gonna break the shield into fiona execute which is why it's so important you have the fiona execute here and we're gonna clear him with 1.5 minutes to spare and that's the entire fight it's very simple there's only like three mechanics you have the shield you have the big red circle you're gonna stack in and you have the spear which you gotta break remember to jump over the fire circle so you don't get gray bite and that's gonna be it that's the entire boss guide i hope this helps you